Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Ant's Amazing Comic Con Adventures. Welcome back after that short intro. I hope it's not too long. If it is, let me know and I'll try to cut it down to size. This awesome, amazing that I had at my very first Comic-Con. See, I had never gone to a Comic-Con before. I always wanted to go to the big one in San Diego, but I'm afraid to fly. I found out about the one in Philly, saw that there was like major people there and stuff, so I drove down with my, my buddy and my, my brother. This Comic-Con was so big, I couldn't believe it. I was so overwhelmed. My neurons were firing all over the place. I was like, oh my god, look at that, oh my god, look at that, oh my god, look at that. I spent so much money to pace myself a little bit better after that. This Comic-Con, I had a, a plan, I had an agenda. I said, I'm going to see this person first, this person, this person, this person, this person. I uh, scheduled photo ops with three different celebrities. I was very nervous. I had no idea what Comic-Con was going to be like. Everything that you have ever heard about Comic-Con of being like nerd culture and this and that is absolutely true. Everybody's so nice. Everybody's so polite. I just hope that we can get back to that when this COVID stuff's all done. First, first celebrity I ever met. I was looking at where the celebrities were, where the photo ops were, where everything was so that I knew where to go. A particular actor, I saw that he was supposed to be there in a few minutes and I was like maybe I could meet him, get an autographed picture, and then go get the photo op with him. So I waited in line because there was only like five people. About an hour late to his, his autograph session. They were going to push back things, you know, whatever. True rock star fashion. My, my heart jumped, my heart jumped. I, I, I was so excited. That actor is James Marsters, Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Brainiac from Smallville, amazing guy, amazing singer, amazing musician. He said, everyone, he said, take as many pictures as you want. Many pictures as you want, people in line. They don't allow you to take pictures. They sit there, and if you take up, they, you, no pictures, no pictures, no pictures. They didn't. He said, "I don't care. Take as many as you want." We had the most incredible conversation with him. I, I remember it like it was yesterday. I mean, and this was my hero in Buffy. I loved him, growing up. You know, dealing with girls breaking up with me, or girls cheating on me, in the show as Spike, made me more confident. I said I wanted to be like him. So I told him that. And he he was he was laughing. Uh, we were joking. I called my I called my no yeah, I called myself Spike Jr. because that's how I wanted to emulate myself at the time when I was young. Uh, we had this long conversation. He told me about how when he, you know, as an actor, you know, he would get in the part of Spike and not caring and I don't give a crap and this and that. And he said it was during the you know, uh, uh, they were shooting and they were they were setting up a thing. Xander got hurt. The actor who plays Xander got hurt, and everyone was like, "Oh my God!" And he's like, "I don't care," you know, because he was staying in character. And we had a great laugh. And then I had a photo op with him right afterwards. I thanked him. He shook my hand. He he was so incredibly nice, so incredibly nice. So then, right after this picture, which says to Anthony. To Anthony, bite me, James Marsters. Right after I got this photo, I am for the photo op. There wasn't that many people for this first photo op, and I think it was because it was early. And it was awesome because I was like the fourth or fifth person. I got up to that photo op with him, and I said, I said, hey, hey, it's me, Spike Jr. And he put his hand out and we high-fived and hugged and everything. Like we were old friends. He treated me like an old friend. And then 
we got this picture right here taken. Um, it's a little bit dirty. I apologize. Super friendly. And not only that, him and I had a conversation about something that Spike meant to me. My brother who was behind me talked to him about their favorite bands, who they liked as musicians and who they liked as singers and things like that. He caters to you for a celebrity I met and that it means so much more to me than anything. First celebrity I met and that was the experience I had an amazing experience. If you have not watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, watch it. If you have not watched Smallville, watch it. He is an amazing actor. So with that said, I'm going to leave tonight with one of my favorite quotes from Buffy the Vampire Slayer when, he, when she said, explain to me what you're doing here in five words or less. And he said, out for a walk. <laughs>